Good morning everybody and welcome to Bath and we're still in the parking ride this morning it's absolutely glorious out here and I'm shooting this morning on the GoPro 12 so hopefully all is good now we haven't got the media mod yet looking at the delivery it could even be till tomorrow or the day after so we've took the decision to cancel it from Amazon I'll have to make do with this media mod for now but um, we need to move on for several reasons we've got that much washing all the bedding wants washing the towels want washing now the washing machine we've got is ideal for doing underwear a few t-shirts but we really need to do all the bedding so i says right while we've got quite a bit of washing let's just head off somewhere and do all that and we also need our prescriptions because i have heartburn tablets um, we tried getting them from bathing boots yesterday but it's only a little small one so you have to order them in and take a couple of days so we've decided this morning let's get packed away and let's move somewhere else because we don't like to stay in spots too long but this has been a cracking spot and there's also a few other vans which have been parked here a day or two so it looks like they pretty much accept it round here and like I say this is just north of Bath so it's outside the Eula zone so I'll get Starlink down off the roof and we'll get packed away well we've made it to our first destination they have got two lots of Revolut machines here so that's quite handy but it's a bit tight in this garage so hopefully nobody needs to get <laughs> air or water from there because <laughs> we're a bit blocking everything in here uh, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do but that's all we can do yes it's very tight down here have to back out to the main road when we're done. If you're ever desperate for water, you can always use these at the petrol station. So I went in and asked them, and they said, Yeah, it's fine. It took ages to fill it, it took about 15 20 minutes, but it doesn't matter, it's free, and they do allow you to use it if you ask. So we're just waiting on the washing now. And then dry in and then we've got to try and get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bit tight. Mm, just a bit. Just a little bit tight. We'll have to back out onto the road I think. Yeah. Won't we? Uh -huh. We will and then we'll have to find where Boots is next. Yeah I don't think it's far away is it? Hopefully not. Boring waiting for washing and it's starting to look very very grey up there. Now the washer has said one minute remaining for the last five minutes. <laughs> So it's just finishing its spin and it's all got to go in the dryer but it looks like it's going to rain very very soon and Catherine's looking very bored out there but it's got to be done and once it's done we don't have to worry about it for a week or two obviously filled up with water um, so the next stop will be boots and the supermarket so the place right is called Trowbridge uh, we need the Asda but the parking has a um, height barrier so we can't get in there and the boots is over the road so we found this car park it's uh, a council car park but all this bit's empty so we'll just put it in here for now I'll wait with the vehicle while Catherine pops the boots Come on, Boo you're going to come and stretch your legs mate come on stretch your leggies yeah, so I'll just wait with the vehicle. I don't think we're supposed to park in here, but I can't find nowhere else to park. It'll do, won't it, Bo? No, you're not coming with me. No, you've got to stop here. Back. Come on. Go for wee wees. Go Good boy. I'm going with my mum, Dad. No, she got to stop here, boy. But I like going with my mum. Come on, Bo. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> No, you're stopping with Dad. Right, Catherine's topped the essentials up in the shopping department and she didn't bring back that much. No, I didn't, because I, was I knew I had to carry it. <laughs> yeah, I was in shock. I know. He spent less than £100. In fact, yep. he probably spent about £20 or £30. Pounds. 40 quid. 40 quid, that was a good one, that. That was very good. Anyway, Catherine's found us a park up 6.8 miles from here. With a view, apparently, of something special. Mmm. What I've one. seen before, well I reckon I've seen it before because I don't reckon there's more than one of them, I'm not sure. But we're going to hit the road and we're going to head there now and hopefully 
we can get parked up there for tonight. Hmm, hey boo boo. Yeah, we've got the old VTO one down there. Charge it up on the go. So Catherine has chosen this place and it says unsuitable for HGVs at the bottom <laughs> and it's very steep. Mm. I think we forget what we're in. Yeah. Let's hope it's worth it. <laughs> Let's hope so. This thing takes a bit of turning round if you're not careful. Yeah, oh dear. just a bit. Like a single oh track up here. <laughs> mm, it's getting a little narrow. It does say narrow entrance road though, oh, but there, there there's is. a snippet of where we're going. To the white horse. To the big white horsey. Like I might have come up trumps again with my find. Well, apart from that, we can't see his head though from this side. Yeah. Oh. So, this is what Catherine has found us, right on top of this hill. And the white horse is just over the edge of there. I think this will do. There's no signage up. Plenty big enough for everybody. Wow, look at that for a view. And hopefully the microphone's behaving itself because it's a tad windy up here. Beautiful. This is about perfect. We're about level because I've just poked the front end up there. So this is going to be home for tonight. How are we doing? Coat, Bill? Yes, it's, it's a tad yes. windy out there. It's a tad windy. Right, on, mate. panel on, fridge on to gas, and we're good to go. Yeah. This'll do, what you've is... done well there. Ah, another good find you, for you've me. You've done really well, even <laughs> Alexa's getting excited up there, look. <laughs> Top marks to Ray Catherine. Hey. So it's that time of day again, it's tea time, because we're always eating in this van, and we're having a chicken tikka masala. Look at that, from Sainsbury's as well. We are eating like kings this week, babe. Ian, Ian there? Yeah. What are you doing in there? <laughs> it was me. It was me, boo boo. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. Yeah, so we're having uh, chicken tikka masala. We've even got some naan breads. And some rice. And it shall all be done in the old ridge monkey. Well, apart from the naan beds, we'll grill them because it's just easier. But yes, it's looking a bit grey over that side out of the van. Looks like there's a bit of a storm coming over there. On this side, it's been absolutely beautiful. So we've had the old solar panel out, getting a bit of power back in the apiary. But yeah, it's uh, lovely and quiet here. Obviously, we think all the boy races will turn up later, especially because it's Friday night, but we've had them before, we're not bothered. We're not bothered, are we, boo boo? Hey, we're not bothered. Anyway, it's time. Is it? Is it time for your tea? Is it time for your tea? Yeah. Do you want me to get your bowl out? Shall I? Oh. Oh. Oh, now you know what time it is. Hey, what we got gonna put in here? Ooh. That's a happy pooch. We got biscuits and salmon for his tea. Oh, ho, ho, good boy. Guys, jumper on because um, Catherine clipped him the other day. It has been a little bit fresh on a night time, so he does like that jumper. Sizzling away nicely. So much you can do in these ridge monkeys. That looks like Zaki's is ready. He's having chicken and pasta. Yeah, fork. And naan bread. Oh, the dog had a fork. Ah. 
on his head think you bow and you can't beat a ruby murray naan bread and rice Help me hungry. <laughs> mm, hungry? I am very, very, very hungry. Good. To narrow it down, I am hungry, hungry. This is plenty. You've had yours and you cannot have Ruby Murray, Bill. No, or it may you Ruby Bum. It will. It may be a Ruby Bum. Good morning. Now, as you can see from my face, I didn't get a very good night's sleep. We have definitely, definitely slept in better places, but only sleep wise. View wise, this is probably second to none. But we were kept awake till about half past four. Cars, people, music. So it's about 7am now, I've got up, got my centre brew. I'm going to go and sit over on these benches and show you the view. So I guess if you want to enjoy views like this, you have to pour up with a little noise. Absolutely stunning. What a view. What a morning. Now, not very Instagrammy, I've spilt half my tea down my cup, look. But I managed to make it, we're a couple hundred yards from the van. And it's absolutely gorgeous this morning. Right, I suppose I better head back, see if they're awake yet, get a spot of breakfast and then uh, have a look on the old Google, see if we can find somewhere to stop later today because if it's going to be noisy, I mean it's Saturday today so you expect a lot more people to be here on a Saturday, want to go on to night's sleep, as beautiful as it is. Oh, what a glorious morning. Time to get things charged up while that sun is shining. It's beautiful now. Absolutely beautiful. The troops are up. Catherine's making herself some breakfast. Yep, scrambled egg this morning. Boo's got his coat on because it's a little fresh. Well, it's a little fresh for him. I think it's beautiful like this. But yeah. Trying to get the solar panels just set. We've got them both wired together and we're still only producing 100 watts. I think the A3 panels are a little bit better than the all power panels because if that's a 100 watt panel, I can plug that in and get 70 watts, 70 to 80 watts, but that one seems to produce a little bit less. And I've also got a 200 watt A3 panel which also seems to produce a bit less, and uh, that one's here. This one weighs an absolute ton, this one. Go outdoors, we bought some new chairs, which you've not seen yet. Catherine's modelling the chair. Nowhere near as comfy as the old chairs. They're not, but two for 36 quid, you can't grumble, can you? The only thing no. you can grumble at is the noise last night. Oh. <laughs> so we're definitely not stopping here, are we? Not recommended. It's, it's a shame, because it's beautiful. Yeah, it's stunning scenery, loads of people dog walking, mm. loads of people letting the dogs poo everywhere, not picking it up and all. Yeah. I've noticed there's landmines everywhere. Some appeared outside our van this morning. Yeah, fresh ones. I don't know, I bet them are the type of people to tread in somebody else's dog poo and moan about it mm. as well. We got the uh, A3 out on charge this morning, it was doing well because the sunshine was out. Um, we've actually had up to 135 watts out of that panel. 
so it has been a bit better but that's maximum i've seen out of a tones what that well that particular tones with what panel hey, it's just trying to come around that cloud now look so it's very fresh when the sun goes in <laughs> it is it's, it's very very fresh but yeah we're just trying to get a bit of power now we've got mine we've got 14 percent in it this morning been out what an hour and a half mm, it's not too bad and uh, obviously it keeps going behind the clouds it's going to be out in a minute for a good while and then uh, we need to um, get on the road and find somewhere for tonight oh um, we would have liked to have stayed here wouldn't we but yeah we're going to stay here for another night but yeah. not with uh, 1 a.m. boy racers turned up. Yeah. Stayed with the music blaring until half past four. Somebody had the shittest music oh. on I've ever heard in my life. I thought about getting up and going and telling them. Put something decent on at least if we're going to have to listen to it. Yeah. And then but, six yeah. o'clock in the morning, dog walkers start. Yeah, you've got all this car park. But they seem to want to park here behind us. This car park goes right over there. Well, I think him in that motor home down there had the right idea. I think he, he parked down there where there weren't many spaces and I think he got the best spot. Yeah. But yeah, that's today for you, isn't it? Could be raining. Keep hearing I can hear the church bells. I keep hearing the church bells like down in the valley area down there. We've even got a beacon up here as well, look. Yes, yeah, it's lovely to listen to. Yeah, because this is a hill, obviously, all the way around. Drops off that side as well. Oh, here it Sunshine. comes. Here it comes. Yay. Beautiful sun. Charge, baby, charge. Oh. Oh wow, we're banging some watts in now, we're up to 149. <laughs> That's as high as I've seen that panel go. There was me slating the panel, saying you don't give out the output. I've not had 200 yet, but 149. That's not bad going. 200 would be better. Charge faster. Don't be greedy. But it's charging the van up lovely as well. Listen at that. That's a distance away, but it's travelling well. So we'll pick you up again in a bit when we've decided where we're going because we keep looking then we can't decide <laughs> just so many places to go we've not been down here so yeah. many places so we've made it into Salisbury Salisbury there's a load of parachuters oh there's another one up there oh yeah we've come to the um Bosdale oh wow Aviation look at them spinning collection. around up there that'll make you sick won't it oh dear yeah, so we've come to a aviation collection to have a look round. But we're going to get a pot noodle first because I'm starving hungry. Any more up there? Don't think so, no. Yeah, there must oh, be right, some. one above us. Must be right some, above us. Must be something going off there today. Mustn't there? There's tons of people down there. Yeah, there's loads of people. And there's a, like a marquee up as well, look. Mm. So we've managed to get part around the back. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a look around these uh, aircraft in a bit. Right, we're going to treat ourselves to a little look round in here. While we're here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come in and sit in a fast jet cockpit, Zaki. Do we get away with being over 65? There's a list of all the aircraft in here. I think those will hang there. Yes. But yeah. Whoa, look at that as rams Aki. Guided yeah. guided missile, yeah. Look. Azram. <laughs> I don't think I'd get out of there if I go in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Canberra. Canberra cockpit looks like you get get in through here look. Oh, imagine sitting in that. It's got landing lights on Zach. Ah. Yeah. Two seater in there. Two it's seater. There's camera. about a hundred and eight. Get an idea of. Uh, oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Very metally inside, yeah. aren't they? Bits of metal everywhere. This one's a meteor. That one here has got about four or five inches of rubber in. Got an area jump jet here. Yeah. 
Supermarine Swift. Keep well away from intake or she would go straight down there. <laughs> It'd suck you in there, Zaki. Must have took ages to learn all these dials and buttons and different things. I remember seeing these fly. Mm. A GR1 tornado. Wing sweep back on them. Mm. And now they're just museum pieces. They are. And we normally see, used to see these in red. BAE Orc. Looks nice in black. Here's a Hawk look. You can get in the cockpit of this one. Oh, this one's a pilot school one. Yeah. If you ever wonder what the controls of a Hawk look like, that's what they look like. There's the front seat. There's the back seat. So just looking at this GR1's history, it was at quite a few places but it, before it was retired it was at, uh, up at Lossiemouth where we went and saw the Eurofighters mm. not that long ago. That was only, uh, it landed there two years apart. Yeah. Yeah. Only, only 99 and two years apart Imagine looking for a wiring fault in them wiring looms. Mm. <laughs> wow. You'd never find that issue. That's why these aircraft can only fly for so long. Yup. That black is beautiful. Mm. Like you Imagine when they used to fly these little material and wood. Mm. <laughs> you would have trusted it, would you? The B2B project. Yeah, of course you trust it. It's lovely. Nimrod. Funny shaped nose, look. We're missing a bit, are we? Mm. What happened upon that, Zach? Mm. Yeah, the birds. That was like one of the first ones to be made, wasn't it? That had gone. Oops. This looks like a Dakota to me. What do you reckon? I just agree with you. Douglas Skytrain. Shots with DC-3. Oh, this is the military version of the Douglas Dakota. Oh, look at that. Yeah, tons more switches. An Avro 707. Looks like a mini Vulcan. And a, a Lightning. A Spitfire. Dakota there, Comet, You're learning so much today Zach, yeah, yeah that plane going up again, mm. the people who do That's the it. jumping and not us, interesting look round there wasn't it, yeah very nice, there's loads more parachutes, uh, where are they, where are they gone, oh they're all right there. above us look, right above us, there's loads of them coming down right over there. So we need to find somewhere to stop tonight. We'd, we've just been in asked if we could stop on here, but they don't. The land don't. Own, they don't own the land. No. So, uh, Gosh, it is coming in fast, Zach. You're right. Blind. I'm swinging round. Mm. Lord. Oh, Lord. Some speed. Blind. Yeah. Look at him. 
Yeah, but it was worth asking, wasn't it? So. Right, let's get in and find somewhere then. Right. This is a first for us. Sainsbury's car park. We're not driving around anymore, we've been driving for... No, we're fed up now. Hours. Absolutely fed up. Everywhere we tried to get in has been rammed full. Yeah. Traffic's horrific. Yes, I and mean, we're nearly out of diesel, so we've called at Sainsbury's and they've said, oh, you can stop here overnight, we'll put your licence plate on an exemption thing. Yeah, so. ever such nice lads in the garage. I said to Steve, I'm just going to go and ask him if there's anywhere local that we can stop yeah. overnight. And he's like, yeah, go in our car park, just give me a registration number. He says, we'll let the security lady know. Yeah. He says, no problem. So let's get some tea now. So, yeah, thank God I asked. <laughs>